Hello everybody, welcome back to this crazy little thing called Doom. Ha! Ah, so yeah, yeah, that was a reference to popular culture, because you've all heard of a crazy little thing called Love, which is... Uh, how do you get to the BFG? Is it G? No? Ah. Oh. T? T! That right, didn't hurt me at all. Good. Um, I do often wonder how they justify BFGs existing and knowing not to hurt the, uh... Oh! The, uh... The, the firer. Just got a little bit overwhelmed there by the existence of that pinky. That's fine. I am now... 100% incapable of... Uh, I don't have any... health left. I think we probably want to use something different against these. Perhaps the... Probably not the gas kennel. Let's just try the assault rifle. I, I don't really know what is correct in this situation. Maybe someone could lend me some insight. As 42% um, health likes to make me aware. Ooh, interesting. Uh, has. That sounded really dismissive. His input is actually extremely helpful. I learn a lot that I obviously didn't previously know, or otherwise it wouldn't necessarily be learning. I, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to stop talking occasionally, and it's going to be because of things like that. That was just a straight up teleporter. It didn't even have an effect. It's just a demonic, first you were here, now you're here type of teleporter. Can't. Got nothing against it, nothing to complain about. That was extremely satisfying and can happen as many times as it wants to in my lifetime. The reason I did that is not because of all that stuff which ultimately disappears. But because, of course, it just makes the enemy go away, basically, immediately. I think I'm doing pretty okay since I've been off, as mentioned, AFK for a few days in the old Peaky Districts. Peaky Dizzle, as we like to call it, in England. That's a very English turn of phrase, you know, the, uh, the old Dizzle part of... Um, I don't really know what you call it. You just you take a word and instead of finishing it off, you replace the end of it with Izzle. Uh, yeah, it's very English. It's, I'm surprised, surprised if you've even heard of it in America. Uh, yeah, clearly, you don't ever use it. Um, yeah, Peak Districts. It's, mm, camping is hard if you're not very good at it. <laughs> Basi oh, hello. Basically. Um, which I'm not. So, although the area is nice, it's very picturesque, there's a lot of excellent driving, but... Get a few back problems walking around in a tent because well, you don't even get to walk around in a tent, you're just in a tent. Um, walking around is not an option. Here you go. Because. Oh, yeah, right. I remember this. It's too small. Can't fit in the tent. Please. Everyone, stop. Why are you not? There we go. Yeah, I had a week off, obviously. Apparently the uh, prepared videos did work. Change done. Nice. Um, so I'm pleased to see that. Pleased to see that people are still watching and have got some good advice for me. I don't really know what weapons I'm switching between here. And I kind of forgot what I was saying at the start of everything when I was talking about the Peaky Dizzle. Um, yeah... I figured the chain saw would be a good idea because there's ammo for it right there. That is a quad damage, I think. So the quad damage or berserk. I haven't really figured out which one's which yet. Does it show me a pic? Let's refresh our memories. This is all new to me. I've never played this game before. Um, if, there we go. Artifacts? Quad damage. Yes, it is. Invulnerability. Berserk is that one. Haste. So the... As a colorblind user of the entire world, the only difference between the haste and invulnerability that I can see is that haste has the spinny things around it and invulnerability does not. So down here somewhere there was one of the two. I, I forget where it was. Oh, that's right, I was being unnecessarily dismissive about 42%. Okay. Health's uh, advice is actually very useful. There's a lot of things I don't know about this game, which I'm not really going to pick up just by playing it because it's not the sort of thing that is explained by the game. It's sort of meta mechanics about the game. I'm glad I can do that. Uh, but 
yeah. at the same time, he does like to explain these things to me. So I'm grateful for it. I'm also grateful for this not using up any ammunition if you miss. Uh, yep, very okay. good. Probably didn't need to do that specifically. Nice. Die. I think we've got the thing that basically gives us the maximum amount of time we can have on these, uh, on these power-ups here. And the minimum amount of time it can take for these uh, weapon things to recharge, actually, now I think about it. So the reason I was obviously using the chainsaw is that there is chainsaw ammo right there, so not using the chainsaw would probably be against my better interests. Because it can basically instantly kill something like that. And then replenish all of my HP, uh, all of my ammunition. Kinda don't want you to be here, if you don't mind. I'm suspecting to some extent that maybe it was not correct for me to have picked up the quad damage so early on. Did what? Did I get anything for that? Kill this. Give me some HP. Thank you. Please. Good. Getting a few decent headshots in on that certainly does help, and I'm wondering if there's probably an opportunity to use the BFT at some point in the future. The not-too-distant future, no doubt. Oh, I apologise in advance for the usual, um, why has your computer gone all shitty situation. Oh, Christ. That does actually hurt. <laughs> I want this to be picked up. There we go. And I don't want that Manculus to be able to get me if I can avoid it. Oh, run. Run faster. He's done it. Back of the net. There is another one, however. Not something I like to see. Any time of the day I'm like, yes, chain gun. Spin it up. Spin it up. No. Why aren't you... There we go. Okay, good. Seems necessary to spin up the chain gun. Oh, there's a cackle demon. 40% health is right, by the way, that the... Uh, Original Cacodemons did have the same mechanic of trying to numb on you, but it was extremely weak. Don't really want to be here. Um, plasma rifle, I suppose. Oh, what an amazing shot. This is going to be one of those difficult ones, isn't it? So we know to probably wait for the um, Mancubus wave before we pick up that quad damage. I don't know what the little thing was that we picked up in the first place, though. In the second place, I thought it would be an invulnerability sphere, or at least a haste sphere, but it just sort of disintegrated, and I collected it, so hard to say. I'm also going to not use up my BFG here, because it seems highly unnecessary. Extremely fun, don't get me wrong, but extremely unnecessary, because... Ow. Um... Nice. Don't don't do that. <laughs> There's not very many enemies. Obviously, they they basically gave me no trouble at all. Please. There we go. Forget what chain stun actually is. Let's have a look. Um, I want to keep the BFG ammo because obviously it's not dropping. It's not a thing that we're getting. Uh, demons killed while stunned. Kill thirty stunned demons. Okay. Just have to kill them. Apparently a glory kill doesn't count. So screw you too, hippie. We want um assault rifle for this bit. That thing stop talking. I say talking. Stop making noises, even though Wow! It was gone. Uh yeah, he did the thing that 42% health told me was that those things now home. Which I honestly consider a down step step down from the original source system. Dunno. Plus one something. I've forgotten how to change that again. <laughs> Not control. Well, apparently that does something. So does C. X does a thing. Z and X actually change weapon, which is completely news to me. Honestly, I thought that scrolling this changed my uh, thingy, but obviously I'm on the hologram, which I should also remember about. I want to make sure I've got everything I can get before we start doing this, but... I'm also wondering about the actual purpose of the um, 
Okay. Of the... Teleporters here, because they don't actually seem to have that much of an effect. So I think... Okay, so I've got a couple of options here. One of them is we just shoot everything. Which is my favourite option, because it really doesn't require any... Explanation, or understanding, or finesse, or anything like that. You just shoot the crap out of everything until it's gone away. Uh, uh, you know, it's what we've been doing the whole time. It's, it has the the sort of the beauty of simplicity to some extent, and and there's a certain common ground that we can all get behind in in the whole idea of just shooting the shit out of everything. Where you know. Other other plans may may be difficult to explain, you know. Just not shooting the shit out of everything. What a silly idea, right? But option two is we BFG now. We can BFG. Uh, leave me alone. Fairly shortly, I think, because you hit me. I could have sworn that didn't hit me. I need something to keep this joker at bay, because it frickin' hurts. Get out of here. What was that? Oh, exploding barrels, obviously. I mean, why the hell not, in this day and age? Um, with BFT now... Oh, yes. Get out of here. Leave me alone. You don't get to do that. No, you don't get to do that. Leave. Great. Uh, of course, this is... A quick escape plan, so I guess there is that to be said for it. Uh, obviously, I haven't BFG'd now. And then we saved the quad damage for the Mancubus section. Was the plan there. And in doing so, have a great chance at actually finishing off those Mancubodes before any of them manages a classic shot like it managed last time. Which, honestly, I don't think is fair. I do think it's fair. It's a perfectly legitimate thing to do. You know, fire at me with your weapon that you have. Um, I need something else. Yeah. I need these things to stop attacking me. Leave me alone. Perfect. What? It's going to be one of those episodes, I'm afraid. First of all, get that tissue out from underneath my mouse. It's not my play. It's that tissue. Stopping my mouse from moving correctly and it was getting under the... The, the IR sensor, and you know, I, I, what am I supposed to do? I can't, I can't work in this situation. Um, starting to wonder whether option one, which is to either BFG or kind of want to chain kill these dice, but all right, fine. Yeah, you can see the armor, so it's pretty obvious that there is some... Ow. No. There's a thing behind me I don't want it to be. Uh, the options are... Quad damage early, BFG later. BFG early, quad damage later. Quad damage and BFG later. Which sounds extremely good. But at the same time, nothing else has worked too well so far. So I don't really know whether that one will either. So what is this? It's a little glowy thing. It says plus one. It didn't show up as a codex entry. Did it? Um, and wait, do I have to just pick things up? Is that my objective? Where's my objective? Form five screw top glory kills and attack lower right leg or head from behind. That's those ones that we start this whole debacle with. Two rune trial stones, I've got for one of them. Uh, what is my current objective? Do I have one? Access the Lazarus elevator. Literally that. So, these things, artifacts, Slayer's Testaments, Doom Marine, that's me. No, it looks like invulnerability, but it seem to be. So, what is it? Well, that's what I need to activate. So. These things could be much more useful than I'm actually giving them credit for. Oh, and the other thing is, of course, we can chainsaw things later on. 
So we don't have to. Uh, sorry, what? We don't have to avoid using our chainsaw because we do have chainsaw ammo available to us. However, depending on the enemy, chainsaw ammo might not be particularly available. I'm also not really paying attention to my crosshair, which does tell me when I have um, my stun available again. So I should no, not you. I'm going to say I should chainsaw the, um, yeah, you. So let's get the chainsaw. Where is it? There it is. Ah, lame. Don't have enough fuel for that. I guess I'll do this. I'm stuck on the, uh, stuck on the wall. <laughs> lame excuse, I know. There's a railing to prevent me from accidentally falling down the stairs. And it is actually accidentally, protects me from accidentally, intentionally falling down the stairs, which would have been great right now. Uh, so, I mean, I kind of want to, but... Excuse me? Weren't you staggering just now? You were. Don't pretend. Um, I want something to punch. What's in here? Ooh. This wasn't open before. And I actually did notice that this was open previously. But I hadn't got to the point where I realised it was a good idea to go into it. That's also not true. I had realised it was a good idea to go into it, I just wasn't kind of able to at the time. That thing fought that thing, which I'm happy to see. Don't even come near me. That's worthwhile. So I want to see more things dead. I changed around there, that's what we want to see. Although... I do have enough chainsaw ammo to chainsaw smaller enemies, which is what's bothering me right now. So let's do that to you, and then pick that up, and then get out of here. Oosh. Oh, fudge. I... I don't... It's... Red shield. Surely that means it's about to break. I've still not learned my lesson, have I? Right. We might as well try and get our, um, our challenge done in this particular part here. Because... Oh. <laughs> if I can even get these things to be in glory kill available mode. Screw top attack. Nope. Nope. Done. Good. Get behind it. Kill it. Kill it. Kind of wanted them to be dead without everything else being dead. That wasn't going to happen, apparently. At least we didn't lose all our HP on that simple little task just now. Easy mode. Yes, it's really difficult to sidestep them. In the old days, of course, it was trivial. It was just part of the game. You <laughs> got them to charge you and stepped aside. That being said, in the old days, cha chainsawing, sidestepping anything, wasn't supposed to be easy. It wasn't a thing. We didn't have strafe. Strafing? What are you? Right, we'll get rid of that one. That makes this round slightly easier. I'm not sure I wanted to make this round slightly easier, to be quite honest with you, so more for me, I guess. Good. That's fine. Um, I was going to try and glory kill it, but it being dead is at least as good as it being glory killed. The glory killing is basically, I'm hoping that it gives us a little bit of ammo each time we do it to keep us going. And it is slowly filling up our HP too, but not that concerned about that right now. That was great. Strafed around. Look. You're going to think I didn't do that on purpose? I totally did. Get this out of here. I think that um, stun from the plasma gun might be the way to deal with that shield thing, actually. So, shame on me for not realising. Well. <laughs> yeah. I really just need this 
area to be finished so we can start using yeah that one except on the other enemies that was really fast as well I couldn't have a notice shotgun great I saw you that seems extremely powerful so I'm not going to let you do that directly on me if that's alright where did you go sometimes you just have to get rid of them That uh, particular explosion does not make me happy. Can I change to this loser? Yes! That has made that particular part of the fight so much more palatable right now. Die! Eek! Good. Good. Yes, back of the net. Get that in there. Sorted. You die. Perfect. Right. BFG, you. Get out of here. Nice. Is it dead? It is. Now we go and get the quad damage. How much ammo is this from this? Ah, shit, isn't it? Forgot about them. What's this? Did it help? No. Yes. HP. Perfect. Uh, we want this for these. I don't like the noises to my left and right. We've got to get this sorted out. You know, we can't uh, can't keep going like this. You are down. Oh shit! Sorry. That is a stupendous amount of damage with which I am pleased. Let's get that out of the way. See if there's any more of these jokers to deal with. Yes. Suit it in the belly. Get up there. Kill it like that, because that's way more fun. And anyone else? We actually didn't need that quad damage. I mean, okay. Not quite true. The quad damage really, really, really helped. Um, but we could have taken it way earlier. I don't know what that was. Just the whole thing explode when you... Okay. Whew. All right, let's press this button then. You know what, that's a 26 minute episode, but since this is my first one since I'm back, I'm going to give it a little bit more, um, a little bit more time. Now, it seems, we need the, um, where are you? Nope, can't do it. The teleporters. Oh, Jesus, two other fuckers. Now I want the <laughs> quad damage and I can't get to my... Oh, that hurts. That hurts me deeply. Deep in my soul. Oh, I can. Can I have enough? Yes! <laughs> oh, you've never heard someone laugh evilly in real life. Oh, my goodness. Th that was easy. You f flipping flippers have no chance. That so satisfying. How much have I got left? And I've got one left. That means I can take out... Basically, uh, any simple enemy. I I'm glad I hung on to this um, to this episode, to be honest. I'm, I'm guessing that I've missed a few secrets. I kind of powered through this. I missed that one right there. Which was on the... I don't even know where that is. I it seems to be on the way in just before I saved it. So in the BFG room where I first played with the BFG. Yeah, it's the end of the level. Well, that being the end of the level, I will thank you for watching this episode. It's a little bit... Well, it's not actually that much longer because I did put a few minutes at the start of this video while I was messing around. But, yeah, that's a decent length episode. That was a decent piece of combat and a decent piece of watching me fail over and over and over again. So, yeah, thanks for watching this episode. I hope you would join me in the next one. Remember to leave a like if you like, to leave a comment if you've got something to say to me, which I hope that you do, and uh, subscribe to see me and other people playing games on this channel. Look out for Life is Strange coming soon. So, see you later.